You can't make it a joke like this. Otherwise, I mean, I, I don't care to watch it. Moving into Sunday, and I want to pull this up real quick. <laughs> we have Team LeBron's coach, Mike Malone, interviewed after the game. He's talking about how it's hard to watch. And he says that this is the worst basketball game ever played. The 2023 All-Star Game, which happened on Sunday. Today is Tuesday at the time of this recording. Justin, just want to get your thoughts. How how do you feel about this? Was this the worst game of basketball ever played? Do you sympathize with what Mike Malone's saying here, or do you think it's he's oversimplifying this? No, I I am sympathetic to and empathetic to his sentiments. I mean, look, this I think this is the issue in all of sports in terms of having some kind of all-star game, right? And I think the problem I have, we talked about this off air, is the players in the NBA in the NBA trying to cater towards their needs and that is with the elon ending that is with the charities and i think something's has to give in terms of the players giving back to this game i think in terms of fixing this game make it shorter <clears throat> give guys a minutes restriction and make sure everybody's worked in the rotation that way guys are not going to get hurt it's one of those things where you played your 20 minutes and if it's one thing if you're Giannis and you're hurt, you don't have to play your full 20 minutes. We have a 20 minutes max. You play two halves. You up the money in terms of which team wins. So the charities don't get robbed in terms of the donations to them. I think that's a way of fixing it. Other than that, I think it's really on the players. Like, oh yeah, I oh, I I hate to say this, but I kind of agree. I mean, to me, I, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. I have a lot of problems with the older generation, just in general with our society. But in sports, I kind of agree with them. Like, I just think with in the, ba- in the NBA specifically, I think they're pretty soft. Like, I don't yeah. – like, it's one – right. I, I hate to say that. I hate it. I don't like admitting that they're right. I really don't because I, I vehemently disagree with them on a plenty of other subjects. But in terms of this game where you're making millions of dollars – and you're playing every night, and a part of basketball is, you know, getting crossed up or getting dunked on. That happens. And I think you mentioned Stephen A's point, and we talked about this, and I agree with him. These guys are playing competitive basketball that, does, that, that doesn't really mean anything in the offseason. They play in the Drew League. They play in Pro-Ams. We see videos on Twitter of these guys just playing in a gym randomly against guys that want to make a name off of them. Like, these guys are not just – I'm sure they're not just bowing down to – James Harden or LeBron or whoever playing against him. And these they're playing way harder than this all-star game, which should be a celebration. And I just think it's a, it's, it's a disservice to, like you said, Matt, the audience that picked that they were lucky to get tickets and us watching at home. Like it's a waste of two hours other than, you know, listening to inside the NBA, just crack jokes. Like that's pretty much the highlight. So sorry for that long rant, but no, no, no. I, I just think the league itself has I think one more step to cater to the players. And then I think from there, I think it's fairly to say the blame a hundred percent the players on this in terms of their effort. Yeah. I, I don't disagree with you at all. Um, the level of effort, like you said, in the off season, we see these guys working in the off season. Hell, we see Ben Simmons hitting three pointers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So to see when, the fans that do go are shelling out so much money, as we discussed with Eric Walden a couple of weeks ago on the show before yeah. the All-Star game, to see the expectation that the fans watch and think this is amazing and, and like, oh, we can't criticize ratings. We can't say, see, this is why people care less about the regular season is ridiculous when you see the level of effort that's that's played in the game. If you're watching on video and you look at the picture here, I mean, this is the picture of the entire game. Wide yeah. open lane, one player in the lane, Donovan Mitchell up by the free throw line, and LeBron is just coasting by him. No teammates around him, but didn't matter because he could just dribble right through. I believe this is a picture of when LeBron threw that alley-oop to himself uh, on a fast break right around Donovan Mitchell. Just um, no level of effort. And you know what? Roger Goodell gets a lot of 
criticism, and I think a lot of it is deserved. Uh, certainly on <laughs> some issues, the NFL has not been great. But one thing I think he does deserve credit for is calling out the Pro Bowl when that was not going well and looking silly and just saying, we're not going to do this. We're not going to damage the brand if it's looking this silly. And the NFL, as you and I both know, is a game where you do take a lot of hits if you're playing contact football, even if it's exhibition like the Pro Bowl. Yeah, if you make tackles, you're going to take some hits and risk injury. The NBA players have it very good. They're making a lot of money. And they clearly want to keep that going. They don't want to risk injury. I get that. There's there's financial incentives that can't be denied. But plain and simple, if the NBA superstars do not care about, about the All-Star game, then I find it hard to care about it myself. And that's why for this game, I did not watch in person. I caught the highlights later. I was really disappointed to see that. I did watch the full game highlights, but it was uh, not a fun watch. Then you see what Coach Mike Malone says, and honestly, right. I enjoyed that more than any of the highlights from the game. I, I don't think the All Star Game is going away. Me either. To be to be clear, um, we we both agree on that. Uh, it's just too much of an institution, and also thinking more about it, like getting rid of the All Star voting, would be a big deal too. Uh, and even if you're not playing a game and you have kind of like those all Madden teams that they used to do in sure. the NFL. That's not going to be enough incentive to get people hyped about voting the way they are right now, uh, or at least used to be. <laughs> um, so I, I do think the all-star game stays in place, but I do think it's something where Adam Silver really <laughs> needs to stand up. And honestly, I know we don't like to talk about it, but honestly push back against the players a little bit. He on does. Here and give those incentives that you mentioned are a great idea. Maybe I heard someone mention um, a longer break after the All-Star game to incentivize pushing it, trying hard. I like Something that. has to give on that. Um, and also, I think you need to be very clear with your messaging. You can't have star players, face of the league potential guys like Luka Doncic saying the best part about All-Star Game Weekend is going to Mexico the next week. Yeah, That's great that you're taking a vacation. We all love vacations, no doubt. But you can't say that in an interview about the All-Star Game. You can't make it a joke like this. Otherwise... I mean, I, I don't care to watch it personally. I mean, I care to cover it because I love this podcast and chatting to hoops. But as someone with so many entertainment options, how is that going to be at the top of the list if it's true? If it stays a joke. No, you know? we're in 2023. And I know a lot of people don't like this comparison, but I think it's true with a lot of heads of entertainment or leagues. They usually say everything's our competition and not just like their rival. And it's true. Like it's one of the things Netflix, like you like you say yourself, it's like you want to watch this boring all star game, or you want to watch something on Netflix. What's, what's the cool new show on HBO Max, The Last of Us? Like, come on, like a new episode. Like it's one of those things where the, the competition is a lot stiffer. And I like your suggestion of just taking extra time. Like, I think it would be cool. Take set, this thing at the top of my head right now, take a week off. Before the All Star Game, have these guys practice for a couple of times, kind of like you know Team USA, like give them a couple of yeah. practices, some camaraderie, some of some cool events in the community, and then a week after, give them a week off, yep. something like that. So you're working, and then you're dirt refreshed. Yep, and they can just focus on the All Star Game. Another thing that has to be said here, and I, I've complimented this new generation of players. I think. Yeah. Too. You and I both, until we're blue in the face, we respect the talent. There's no disrespect intended on that. Yeah. But don't go telling us, don't compare yourself to the golden age of basketball, the 80s and 90s, if you're letting an event like this, the landmark event of the season, slip. Yeah. This is something that goes against legacies yeah. uh, as well. The, the talent level is through the roof. But if you're not going to put that talent to use in these situations, you and I in our lifetimes have seen some great all-star games, even like 2003, Michael Jordan on the Wizards closing out the all-star game, yeah. hitting a shot at the end of regulation there was huge, was incredible. Yeah. Uh, any other thoughts on all-star game before we move on here? No, nah, that's it. Also, we'll be here for the next few hours. So <laughs> we should yeah, just we could, we could continue going on and on, yeah. no doubt. Yeah.